What is up, guys? This is Four Ninja Toads. Uh, today I've got a, a a pretty quick video. This is I've actually done a video like this before, and it's a hard drive um, Xbox One hard drive installation video. All right, so uh, someone requested that I do it for the Windows 10 update. All right, so not much has actually changed for uh, using a hard drive on uh, on the new Windows 10 Xbox One update. All right, so. One thing that I did not point out on the on the last video is that in order for you to use your hard drive for games and apps, it's got to be USB 3.0 or faster, and it also has to be greater than 256 gigabytes. So if you don't meet those requirements, you can't use the hard drive for games and applications. All right, so I have two hard drives, one that it does not meet those requirements and the other does. So I'm going to show you a quick, you know, just a quick installation. Um, previous video, I used a uh, five terabyte hard drive, uh, which was USB 3.0, had no issues at all. So all you do is go down to system, go over to storage, and you go and plug in your hard drive. All right. So this this hard drive, if you look at the sc at the screen there. We have a description that says uh, select a device to see its options to store games and apps. Your device needs to be formatted for Xbox One. Music, video, and pictures can be read as is from almost any USB device. For games and apps, you're, uh, you need a device that's USB 3.0 or faster, 256 gigabytes or larger. I did not mention this the last time, uh, but it is on the screen as well on the, on the previous uh, Xbox One uh, software version. Um, so let's let's do this one here. This is an older USB 2.0. It only has 200. I think it's 250 gigabytes, but it, it it goes down to like 253, I think, or 235. So let me plug this in. Ah, if I could get this in. All right. And it should say. Something like, oh, there you go, external media storage ready. And if you go over here, it only says view content. It does not say format for games and uh, apps. All right. So that's exactly it's, it's, as is described there. Uh, this device is USB 2.0 and it's less than uh, 200. I think it might be 250 gig. All right. So let's unplug that. I don't know if that's very safe, but I unplugged it anyway. So this is, this is a Seagate uh, expansion portable drive, USB 3.0. It's one terabyte. All right, so I'm going to plug this in. Last video I did was a five terabyte, which is the one that I actually use uh, for my storage. All right. All right, there you go. I'm not actually going to format it just because I have data on there already. So there you go, it has uh, recognized it, and I can actually go format for games and apps, or view contents. All right, so that's pretty much it. Not, it hasn't really changed, just the, the menu looks different, and uh, I think that's it. Uh, if you guys have any other concerns, please let me know in the comments. I usually try to get back to comments as quickly as possible. Uh, there was... Uh, someone that requested this video so I, I did it it might have been a, a quite a while ago that they requested this video but anyway I still made the video hopefully it helped somebody out if it helped you out please give it a thumbs up and share it and uh, leave, leave me a comment even if it's hot to say hello or, or, or whatever uh, so this is four ninja toads and I'm out for now peace